Hi guys, this is Veldrin on the Galactic Holonet and today I'm bringing you our rehearsal video in preparation for our upcoming store championship. So we're going to test, record and see what we can do if we can bring you some good videos from the actual championship. And so uh, we have a lot of new players in our group and they're all trying to figure out what to fly on Sunday. So um, today I have on my left Matthias who is a very experienced player. He's, his best result is a runner-up in the 2013 Nordic Championship and he's flying Luke Skywalker with Veteran Instinct and R2-D2. Keen Farlander with Veteran Instinct and Advanced Sensors. And Iptism with Elusiveness and Sensor Jammer. To the right we have Morgan who is very new and trying to learn all the tricks there are. And he is flying Yenden in ST321 with a Weapon Engineer. Uh, he has Colonel Vessery with a Heavy Laser Cannon and a Tempest Squadron Pilot with Cluster Missiles. Morgan moves up his Tempest Squadron slowly, relying on Jendon to give him a target lock later to get those cluster missiles off, I assume. And then he does Jendon first. Both Jendon and Vesery are pilot skill 6, so he can decide in what order to take their moves. Uh, could be nice if you want to you know, get in front of your shuttle and block it so it doesn't move too fast. We'll see here what he does. He's target locking. Let's see, he's got Iptism down there. Now I think it's Kian. And then he can do another target lock since he's got Weapons Engineer. Which I guess he's going to put on the other B Wing. No, he put it on Luke actually. So Luke and Kian are target locked. And then it's Vessery. It's also taking it slow, staying close to Jenden so he can get that target lock passed off. In the beginning of the combat phase, he needs to be in range 1 to do that. So we're starting with Iptism, and he's just doing it one straight. Taking it slow, trying to stay at range, barrel rolling backwards to the left. Precision moving there from Matthias. He might have figured out this opening in advance. And then it's Kian and it's advanced sensors, barrel rolling before he moves. Probably explaining this to Morgan, who's quite new. And then one forward. So now it's Luke, and he is doing a four straight, probably getting just past. Iptism, if you've practiced this move before, as Iptism barrel backwards as far as possible, just to get Luke past him. So that was the first round, and removing all the green stuff from the board and time to plan for the next round here. I guess Matthias are explaining a lot of stuff to Morgan since he's still learning the game. Yeah, here we go. Next planning phase.
Okay, so Morgan is moving up the Tempest Squadron. That's a three straight, I believe. Slightly quicker than before. Maybe trying to hide behind the center asteroid. They're right in the middle of the board in case the B-Wings move up and get a shot at it. Takes a focus because he got the uh, target lock last time from Jendon. And then it's Vessery. Picking him before the shuttle. And it's uh, what's that? four or five straight. Speeding up. Accelerating to attack speed. Chatting a bit about the rules, I guess. We're trying to get the new players to learn all the finer details and remember stuff before the tournament begins on Sunday, so they they know what's expected of them. And I guess Vesery is focusing. Well, it doesn't matter because no one will have a shot. Ah, he's battle rolling. Setting up that three hard turn next time, I believe. Jendon is up next, and he's doing a one bank to the left. Okay, interesting. Probably wants to make sure he goes around the rocks and doesn't clip them if he would have gone straight this turn and then bank the next. Target locking again, the final ship, which would be Iptism. So he could probably hand it off to uh, Vessery at the beginning of the combat phase because they appear to be within range one. So he moves Luke first. That appears to be a mistake. Should have been the B-Wing instead. I guess he messed up or just forgot. Well, it's just a casual game, learning all the stuff or teaching all the stuff in Morgan. So he should have set a better example, I guess. But, well, mistakes happen. And then it's... Kian moving up slowly, banking to the right, and then he puts a bit, a bit Iptism in the end, which should have gone first and probably bumped into Luke. Probably won't matter a lot, but uh, strange mistake from someone ex as experienced as Matthias, but those things happen. Okay, the Tempest pilot is banking in. Nicely maneuvering between the rocks, and I guess he's going to have a shot, unless the B-Wings and Luke finish him off before he gets a chance to shoot. And focus, because he already had a target lock that Jendon gave him. And then it's Vessery, and he's doing a three bank, no, three turn to the right. Probably not gonna have a shot this turn. The B wings are probably just doing a one straight or a one or two bank in Ipetism's case. Staying out of reach of Vessery's heavy laser cannon. And Jendon is up, and he's gonna 
to turn to the right, I guess. Stressing himself, but uh, making sure he avoids the asteroids next turn. So this is looking good for Matthias, because he will probably have three ships shooting at the Tempest Squadron pilot, while Morgan will only get to return fire with the Tempest, uh, or it might just die and not get to shoot at all. So let's see here. Okay, so we remembered it's Ibtisan first this time. Maybe someone pointed it out to him. And let's see if he can get past Luke here. It's gonna be close. Oh no, it's not. It's. I just have to rem put Luke to the side for a few seconds to make sure he fits. Okay. And he stresses himself out, or she, because Simtism is a female. And she likes stress because she can re-roll re one die if she's stressed. But she still keeps it. She's not like Kian, who can just burn it for an offensive focus. And speaking of Kian, he's up next. And we'll see if he's going to do his advanced senses before the barrel roll to get into a better position. So he moves first, it's a, without a three straight. Closing in on that poor Tempest Squadron pilot. He target locks the Tempest Squadron pilot. And then it's Luke. And he does a one straight. Just nicely between or beside Imptism. I guess they're gonna have to remove him from the peg. Because Imptism is turned, flying horizontally with her B Wing, so uh, yeah. It fits nicely there. And Luke will also try to lock the Tempest Squadron pilot, I believe. And this is going to hurt. So I guess they checked if Vessery could get a target lock from Jendon, but he was out of reach, since Jendon's ability only works within range 1. So that means it's Luke to fire first at the Temple Squadron pilot, and I'm guessing it's a range 3 shot. Through a rock, so there will be 5 green dice for the Tempest Squadron pilot. Okay, here comes the red dice. And it looks like some hits. And that's one evade and one eyeball, I believe. So he's thinking about using the focus or not. Well, he decides to not spend it and removes shield from the Tempest Quarter pilot. That means Kian is up next, and that's also a range 3, perhaps. Oh, 
Okay, here comes the second attack through a rock. So it's five green. So he spends his turret lock trying to get three hits. And it looks like he did. So let's see, five green dice here for Morgan. And he's going to spend his focus, I assume, so he's safe. And that leaves Iptism, uh, who's stressed, so she'll get a reroll one die as well. And there's no rock, so it's only four green dice this time. And spending a no rerolling. And another hit. And two evades. So this Tempest Squadron took no damage. It looks like Morgan is trying to use his cluster missile, but then he's reminded that it only works at range 1 and 2. So uh, he has to use his primaries. So it will be two red dice, and if he shoots at the B wing, it will get two green dice, unless there's a rock, so maybe three. We'll see who he decides to target. So it looks like he decided to shoot at Kian. So two hits on the red dice and one evade. So one shield on Kian. And that's the end of that turn because there's no reach or no range for Vessary. The Tempest Squadron caters. Okay. I guess Morgan is assuming the B-Wings to charge in full speed, trying to get those range one shots on the Tempest and Vessery as Vessery comes in as well. Uh, I'm thinking Matthias will probably slow play this and just go one straight, which means the Tempest won't have any shots at all. Uh, we'll see. Vessary goes too straight, closing in on those B wings. He takes a focus, and I guess his whoever is going to shoot already has a target lock on it from uh, Jendon, who moves up next, too straight, clearing the stress. and takes a focus action. Iptism goes one straight, appearing to have a nice range one shot at the Cater and Tempest pilot.
and takes a power wall to the left, uh, which means you won't have a shot at the Tempest Pilot, I believe, but perhaps Luke will have that shot and the B-Wings will focus on, on Vessery. So next up is Kian, and he looks like he's barrel walling using his advanced sensors. And if he does, is that a three? Yeah, it is, because it's red, which means he stresses out Kian, which I guess he wants, because he used his action already to pearl roll. And then he does a three, gets a stress for an offensive focus, and a nice range one shot at Vessery. And then we have Luke, and I'm guessing a one straight, or maybe a one bank to the right. It's a one straight, heading for that. No, it's a one back. Yeah, of course, he wanted to avoid the being right in front of the asteroid. And that Tempest pilot is going to take a four red eye attack in the side from Luke there. So here he comes, Luke on the Tempest Squadron Pilot, 4 versus 3. So Matthias used the target lock and a focus for 4 hits. So let's see if the Tempest Squadron can survive this. And he got nothing, 2 blanks and an eyeball. So he takes one, two, three hits and a crit. So that means the first ship is removed from the game. And it's uh, Morgan's Tempest Squadron pilot and it died without having a chance to fire its cluster missiles. So now Morgan Owen has 74 points worth of ships left. So next up is Kane Vorlander on Colonel Vessery, so it's four versus three. And one hit and one focus. He's spending a stress for two hits. Here comes Vessery's defense roll, and he gets one. Evade and two eyeballs. So thinking about... Ah, he wants to save the focus, so takes one shield off of Vessery. So then it's... Ibtisam on Vessery as well, and I'm guessing range one, so three versus four. Range three, I mean, of course. And she can reroll one, because... No, she has no stress. So that's three hits, or two hits and maybe a crit. 
at a lot of eyeballs, so he's forced to spend the focus, but he avoids all the incoming fire. Okay, so he's thinking about attacking with Jendon first, and I think they're explaining that if Jendon fires first and spends his target lock, Vesery's ability will be useless, so he should fire with Vesery first, because then he'll get the target lock on Kane Farlander, and that's what he's going to do. So, four dice, range one with his primary into Kian. And that's two hits, I believe, or hit and a crit, and he he's going to spend the target lock he got from the one Jensen had on him. So he's going to place it there and then just remove it again, I guess. Like that. And then here we roll, yeah. Let's see if he can get more hits. And he got one more. And Kian comes up with one evade, so two hits, two shields from Kian. Looks like he's down to two shields left, maybe one. So Jendon is firing on Kian as well, I guess range 2. Uh, I guess they explained a bit about how you miss your range, you have to stay within arc and so on. So that's two eyeballs and a blank, so I'm guessing he'll spend a target lock to reroll the blank. Yep. That's what he does, and Okay, and then he spends his focus to score three hits. And Kian comes up with nothing. So three more hits on Kian. So two shields and one damage on Kian Fallander, which means he's down to only two hull points. And then it's time for a new turn then. So Vesery is doing a one bank to the right, hoping Iptisum will keep doing the one straight. And a focus action. That means Jandon is up. See what he does. It's a one straight. And I'm guessing he's going to use his weapon engineer here to get two target locks. So one on Luke. And. Or maybe he already has one on Ibtisan back there, yeah. Looks like that. And Ibi is doing a one bang, just straight towards Vesery. and takes a focus. Okay, next up is Kian, and he's going to advance sensor barrel roll first, probably to avoid bumping the shuttle. 
and uh, he does a is it a one straight or a one? No, it's a hard one. Okay, so he's focusing on Vesery. He's the biggest threat, of course. And since he stresses himself, he can use the stress as an offensive focus in the combat round. And moving on to Luke, he makes a two hard to the left. So all of Matthias' ships have a range one shot at the Vesery. And that's not good if you're Morgan. And Luke finishes up with a target lock. So this is going to be a range one shot from Luke with target lock. So four versus three. And that's two eyeballs and one hit. So he's rerolling three and gets three hits. And Vesseries are blank. So that's two shields and one hit for poor Vesseri and he's still facing two more shots. So it's Kian up next, another range one shot, four versus three again. And Kian has the stress so he can turn eyeballs into hit. And well he does that for one hit. And one of eight. So Vesery still has a chance. And we're finishing off with Impetism. Or no, we not because Vesery has the they have Morgan has initiative. So Vesery is shooting first. So range one on Impetism. So that'll be his four red dice. And as Jenden has a target lock on him, he's going to get one as well, I guess. We'll see what happens. And that's one hit and two eyeballs. Okay, Ibtism has sensor jammer. Uh, it won't matter since Vesery has a focus token, but Matthias still has the chance to... Uh, Turn one of them into an eyeball, which can't be rerolled. Uh, I don't know what they did there, but oh, he he rerolled that die instead of the other with the target lock. So he got three hits. Okay, he gets the target. Okay, I think they misplayed that a bit. Yeah, they misplayed it a bit. So he's going to reroll the blank using the target lock he got since the end and already had a target lock. Yeah, okay, he thought the sensor jammer made you reroll instead of turning it into a to an eyeball. So now he's using the target lock, and it looks like a crit, which means he spent the focus for three hits and one crit. Or it could be just four hits, but it doesn't matter since Ibtisam has shields. And the evade is an evade, so three hits, or three shields. I guess they're talking about how Sensor Jammer actually works, since it's attacker rolls die, defender modifies using Sensor Jammer, and then the attacker rerolls if he has a target lock, but you can't reroll that die, and then he can finally spend his focus. I guess that's what they're going through. And, uh, well, I guess Jenden is up next. Probably just gonna shoot at Key and Farlander, range one. Or not, maybe they're forgetting the initiative when he has PS6, so I guess that's Iptisum shooting at Vessery for three hits. Uh, 
and maybe they figure out they was in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter since he's not shooting at Jenden. And one evade, which means Vesery is gone. Oh, well, actually, two hits, so he's extra dead. Or two crits, I mean. So Morgan is now down to a 32 point Jendon versus all three rebel ships, but Jendon has still not shot. So he might be able to finish off Kian here to even the odds a bit, but it still looks like a very difficult situation for Morgan here. So yeah, <coughs> four dice into Key and Farlander. And he has only two hull left, I believe. So Jendon should be able to finish him off. Or is he targeting Luke? Let's see, he's got a hit and a crit, I believe. And if it's, let's see how many dice he rolls, he rolls one, so it's a uh, Kian and he gets nothing, so he's also gone. So now we're a bit more even, but um, I still think there is no way for Matthias not to win this. So Jen does it too hard to the right, bumps into the side of Luke, and uh, loses his action. So if Luke K turns and Ibtisan does a one straight, Matthias has both of his ship firing into the shuttle. So it's Ibtisan first, and uh, well, he's doing the move without reeling the dial, but I guess it's a, it's a one straight. Losing the stress, if she had one, yeah, she did. So, what's there to think about? Target lock or focus? Seems pointless to barrel roll anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> remove the dial without showing it. I'm guessing it's a one straight, he just forgot. Uh, yeah, he focuses, and then it's Luke. And no, Luke is actually doing a two turn to the right. Let's see if he can fit there. And well, yeah, he, he does. So that means it's Ibtism and Jendon firing at each other. Let's see if they remember that uh, Morgan has initiative, so Jendon should fire first. Jendon is still untouched, so five hole, five shields. And Luke target locks for the future. Yeah, they remembered, so here's Jendon's shot first, 4 versus 1, and looks like 3 hits, or maybe 2 hits and a crit, and he spends his target lock, and yeah, here comes the sensor jammer, since there is no focus this time, one of them becomes a focus, why is he re-rolling it? Ah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, he turns it into an eye. And then he gets to reroll the other one using the target lock. They got that right this time. That's good. 
and she receives the stress from the sensor jammer and nothing so two hits and an eyeball which Iptism uses so one shield So it's Iptism who fires back, so it's four against one again. Let's see if Iptism can take away some of those shields on the shuttle. So that's one hit, and we're rolling one because she's stressed, so three focus, and she used the focus, so just one hit. And it goes through, so one shield off the shuttle. So the shuttle does a one bank to the left, clearing its stress, but it looks like it's going to land on the asteroid. Mm, maybe not, doesn't matter because it doesn't have a shot, but clears its stress and takes a new target lock, so as it can has as gender can has can have two target locks at the same time, thanks to his weapons engineer. Iptism is doing a one bank to the left. Probably expecting to bump into Luke if she did a K turn. So as the Lambda can't fire behind it, it's no rush to set up shots now for the rebel player here. And uh, Guessing Luke is for Kaying. Oh, it actually fit. So um, try to lock the shuttle for next turn. And then Luke proceeds with the K turn. Okay, so we've got uh, shooting coming up. Luke can fire at the Rear of the Lambda, I think it has uh, he has range. Yep, range 3, so 3 versus 2. And Luke has a target lock from the round before. So spends it. And gets 3 hits. And 1 evade. So 2 more shields of the Lambda. Okay, let's see what Jendon does. A two bank to the right. There is really no way for the shuttle to turn around here and get any more shots in unless Matthias maneuvers his B wing and his X wing, I don't know, just to, to, to let him shoot at him again. Um, we'll see if he managed to get it around here. So focus, because he's expecting incoming fire and Iptisam does a 2k and we'll be out of range this turn. And Luke does a one bank to the left, clears his stress, sets up for his attack run on following turn and there is no range so 
onto the planning phase. And Jendon keeps trying to turn his shuttle around, too hard to the right. Getting stressed, let's see if he manages to keep away from the asteroid. And Looks like he did that, and on the next one the maneuver template should be clear of the rock as well. Probably what Matthias is explaining here, that as long as the template doesn't cross the asteroid, you don't have to roll for damage and you can still keep, take your action. Iptism, too straight, clears the stress. Okay, Luke, and he goes full speed ahead here, I guess. Well, oh, he, he banks in to cut the lambda off, I guess. So three bank to the right, and I think he's in range. So uh, I guess he's going to target lock if able. Yep. And measuring here, so yeah, it's a range three shot. Oh, he bumped it, but it back. So three versus two, maybe three. I don't know. I don't think the rock is in the way. So, and he's going to use the target lock to reroll those two eyeballs. And two hits. And one evade. So one more shield off the lambda, slowly wearing it down. Okay, Jendon does a turn towards the X-Wing and B-Wing, but he's stressed, so it needs to be a one bank to clear the stress. He can't do a too hard turn because it's red, and that will land him on the asteroid, I'm afraid. So, I'm guessing the B-Wing will bank in and still wouldn't have been in arc, so... Uh, but now there's a risk that he'll take damage, and he will take a lot of incoming fire. Let's see if he takes damage from the rock. Yep, he did. So, shields down on Jendon. So, Iptism goes three bank to the right, getting herself a stress, which means she can reroll one of her attack dice. And she has a range two shot, I believe. And I'm guessing Luke does a one bank to the right. Uh, no, he did a 3. Does he get past or will he bump? It doesn't really matter, he'll still have a shot. But he might end up on the rock. So we're moving Iptism to see if we can fit Luke in there. It looks like he'll make it, but... We'll soon find out. It fit nicely. And he's rolling for the rock, and he lost his shield. So Luke shoots at Jendon here, range 1, will be 4 red eyes versus 1 green, and he gets 2 hits, 
and nothing. So two more hit points off the lambda. So he has three left. And then it's Iptism, and it also appears to be range one. And two hits. And I believe Iptism has a target lock from before. Yeah, looks like that. So she can reroll both instead of just one, as she was stressed or is stressed. So rerolling those. And gets nothing. And nothing as well. So two more hit points, which leaves Jendon with just one. Okay, let's see if Jendon can turn this around. He's doing a another one bank to the right. And that will probably make him bump, but he avoids the rock, maybe? Or it actually fits? Yeah, it does. He really knows how to maneuver that shuttle. <laughs> and that will probably make it difficult for the X-Wing and B-Wing to actually get a shot at him. And here time was actually called, uh, because they are practicing for the upcoming store championship. They, they're doing time and matches, 70 minutes. And um, so they'll just finish this turn and then Matthias will have a victory. The question is if he will finish everything or if Jendon is still alive at the end. So Iptism turns into the shuttle and bumps. And I don't know if Luke did that or if they're just checking since maybe he knew he would bump and then they just checked if, if I did that, what would happen. So that means the game is over and Matthias has 77 points left and Morgan has 25. So it's a full win for the Rebel Alliance. Thank you for watching.